Hello everyone, in this session we'll continue looking at Browse Order's application, how to build it from scratch. But before we delve into building the application, let's uh, take a moment to look at how we can create the documentation for the application itself. Um, so SAP UI 5 is integrated with JS Doc, and you can build documentations with JS Doc. Uh, so you can have uh, uh, code snippets, and then you can have the comments inside of your code. And the JS Doc will be able to parse those uh, code uh, these comments that you have put in your code and be able to create the documentation for you. Uh, so let me show you a quick example. So I can go to the website for the Open UI 5 demo kit. And if I look at the button class, uh, since everyone is uh, familiar with the button class, I'll choose the sap.m namespace. And you look at this documentation, it's nicely formatted. And all this documentation is uh, created uh, for you. And the way they have created this documentation is if I go to the Open UI 5 GitHub, uh, since this is open source, and you can have a look at the code here. And I will go into the SAP namespace, and I will choose the source, and I will go to the button class because we are looking at the button class for now. And if I look at the button class, and I see all these comments in the code, uh, so you have the H3 overview, the user triggers an action, and so on, the usage, and so on. And if you look at the code, uh, if you look at the documentation here, and this documentation is exactly what is found here in the comments. Uh, so you don't need a special team to create the documentation. You can have the comments built in your code itself with JS Doc, and this also kind of uh, uh, gives you type scripting as well. Uh, so here you can get these uh, documentation for free. Uh, so this is what we'll try to do in this uh, session. And the way we can do it is with the UI5 tooling, right? Um, so here, uh, what I can do is um, I can install the NPM package for JSON JS doc, and I'll install this as a dev dependency. So NPM install JS doc dash D. Now, um, because, and this is going to go to the node package manager and it's going to get the uh, uh, JS doc uh, uh, package for us. And we have all these scripts here that we already are using and I can create another script here for doc. And what I can do is I can say, hey, I want to do JS doc uh, and I can provide a config file and I will call it jsdoc.json. I believe if we don't give a config file, then it will use its default settings. Uh, but the config file is fairly easy to create, and we can have some control over what files uh, we can do the uh, comments uh, for, the documentation for. Uh, so let's go ahead and create this uh, config file jsdoc.json. So I can go ahead and create this uh, jsdoc json file and I will copy some code here for the jsdoc.json .js doc file. A fairly simple, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to include the web app. Uh, so that's where all our source code is. So I'm going to include the web app folder and I'm only going to include uh, the JavaScript files. So this is the regular expression. So we are only going to include JavaScript files. And I'm also going to exclude files. I don't want to include node modules, docs, test, local service. So I don't want to be documenting all of these uh, packages. Uh, and I'm going to, uh, uh, with the docs, my destination is going to be here. So when I generate my documentation, I want the documentation to be here in this dist docs folder. And I'm also going to have support for markdowns. Uh, so any markdowns that I use will be reflected in the documentation. And if I have code snippets in my comments, then it will be uh, nicely formatted with this monospace links and so on. Uh, so that's what we have. So this is our config file. Uh, like I said, you don't have to provide it, but by providing it, we have uh, much more control of uh, how the documentation is behaving. Okay, so I have this uh, JS doc uh, config file. Let me add a few uh, additional comments here as well. So here I'm going to add some markdowns. Um, 
Now I will add some markdowns in the component.js file. Obviously, I'm not the author, but this is just for uh, this is just for uh, showing you how the documentation behaves. Uh, and I will add some for the base class as well. And obviously, you can add any any comments for any of these uh, methods, functions, and so on. Uh, you can go to jsdoc. JS doc uh, uh, website. So if you go to JS doc website, this gives you plenty of information on how to um, how to create uh, uh, documentation. So you can have all this documentation. And SAP also provides some JS doc guidelines. So you you have this website here. I'll put it in the link uh, along with this video, and you can have all these. Uh, uh, comments in your code and they will all be formatted nicely for you. Okay, so now that we have this, we have some uh, comments that came along with the code. Uh, you can write uh, any any comments that you want. And, and we also have uh, a script that we can run, doc, JS doc, and it's going to run this. So let's go ahead and create the documentation, npm run doc. So with this UI5 tooling, now we have this flexibility of adding any script and then running it. And it also be, uh, is able to go to JS doc and get this uh, from the npm package module. So run npm run doc, and this is going to create our documentation. And if I go into my dist folder, and you will see my documentation here. And it's obviously created a whole bunch of files. Now, this is on my local environment. We can also do the same thing. And if I look at this index.html, let me open it with the live server. And you will see that. Uh, this documentation has like is nicely formatted and so on. Uh, so where is my live server? Is uh, did it go live? Okay, there it is. Uh, so here is my documentation. Uh, we did add these lines, and it has uh, all these uh, classes, and you have all these. Uh, uh, documentation for for free for pretty much for free uh, so you don't need a special team to create this documentation now this is all on my local environment and I'll also show you how we can do the same thing in SAP web IDE so I have the application in SAP web IDE and here again what we can do is uh, we can in our dev dependency we can add JS, JS doc so I'll just copy the version from here. Now, one other thing we need to do here is we also need to add this JS doc in our SAP UI5 dependency as well. Uh, so we add this here as a dependency as well. So add it in two places, in the dev dependency and also in the UI5 dependency. And we also need to create this uh, config file. So let me go ahead and create this new file. Uh, and I'll call it uh, jsdoc.json. This is the config file that we used. And I will go ahead and copy and paste this uh, information here as well. So I have uh, the same, pretty much the same information, so I'm not going to go over this. And now we need to run the task. And what I'll do is I'll take like a quick and easy uh, shortcut here. Uh, so I'm just going to go along with the build. I'm adding jsdoc-c jsdoc.json. So I'm along with the, when you build, uh, I'm going to run this command as well. And we have this JS doc in our dev dependency. Uh, so it should be able to pull the JS doc from the NPM package module. And it should be able to run this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to deploy this to the SAP Cloud Platform. So the deployment process itself will trigger a build. And it should build everything. It should create the documentation. And it should host it in in the SAP Cloud Platform. And then we should be able to, along with our application, we should be able to see our documentation as well. Uh, so this is kind of cool in the sense that uh, 
you don't have to have a special team creating the documentation for you, especially if you're creating like controls and libraries and stuff like that. Uh, again, don't go too overboard with this with your uh, sam simple applications, uh, but any library classes and stuff like that that can be reused, it'll be a nice way to document it. Um, so let me wait for the, oh, okay, so it is finished. Uh, so it sh we should be able to see the documentation in a short while. Um, okay, so let me open the active application. But the documentation, if you have been paying attention, is in the docs slash index.html folder. So I will go to this folder right here, slash docs slash index.html. And voila, here we have our classes. Uh, we didn't add the, the comments for uh, the base controller and component, so that's why we don't see it here. But otherwise, you'll see all of this, and everything works. And this all of this, uh, uh, you can pretty much do it with JS Doc. Oh, one other thing I did forget to mention is uh, we do have support in WebIDE itself. So if I go into a controller and if I go into let's say base controller .js, any any controller that you have and you have a function and let me uh, take this thing off if you right click on function and you have this thing called generate JS doc you click on this it gives you this template uh, for writing your JS doc so SAP ID web IDE also has support for JS doc for creating the JS doc and if you already have like uh, function parameters like here you have uh, s name as one of the function parameters and when I do generate JS doc it already knows that there is a parameter called s name so it already adds it to it. Uh, so it has all these uh, nice cool functionality. Uh, Visual Studio Code also has, I think uh, you need to start your code with, uh, let's say, let me go here, let me do this. And if I, if you put a star, a slash, two stars, and you hit enter, then it's uh, going to this is uh, the syntax for creating JS doc. Just put a slash, two stars, hit enter, and it gives you this uh, template. Uh, but I think we should, uh, uh, the SAP Web ID goes a little bit further. It gives you the add param, the names, and everything. Uh, but I'm sure Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code probably has an extension that you can leverage as well. OK, uh, that's it for now, folks. Uh, so quick and easy way to create the documentation. And uh, one of the cool things with UI5 tooling is uh, we can do all this locally as well. And very simple. Uh, all you had to do was uh, add JS doc as a dependency, add a script, and then run it, and you're good to go. Thanks.